LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing Show Live. But this isn't about boxing. This is about the UFC. <sighs> you know, I, I just, I don't like getting on here saying that I, I, I tried to tell you. Like, I, them five words, it, it should resonate in your head every time I, I say these words and, and I drop a video. Folks, I, I tried to tell y'all. You see, many, 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 many of you said, Coach, I think you're wrong on this one. And I tried to tell y'all, I said that Holly Holm would be cut out of the equation as soon as she took a loss. I, I said it. I predicted it. You know, Holly's a star. Misha is going to give Holly a, a rematch. Um, you know, Misha Tate is an honorable person, blah, 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 blah. I said, listen, this ain't got nothing to do with honor. This got something to do with money. And to be honest, there's no money in rematching Holly Holm. See, Holly Holm got done dirty, man. Like, honestly and truthfully, I wish I could interview her because I could get Holly Holm to talk to me. If I could really get Holly Holm to, to, to talk with me, oh, I could get her to open up the floodgates because, see, I'm going to ask her the questions in a manner that she's going to want to respond to them, and she will respond. But I'm telling you, they, they done done this woman dirty, man. This woman has pretty much been done dirty on all the courts, man. And you know what? They'll never let Holly Holm fight Ronda again. That, that'll be a no-no. They'll never let that happen again, okay? And see, really and truly, the person that could beat Misha Tate easily is Ronda Rousey. And see, Misha Tate literally has to beat Amanda Nunes this weekend. She has to. Because they're going to set up this mega showdown. Watch what I tell y'all between Misha Tate and Ronda Rousey. See, it ain't gonna really sell much if Misha, I mean, if Ronda Rousey had to fight Amanda Nunes because Ronda Rousey is gonna, is, going, is gonna go in there and she's going to easily defeat Amanda Nunes. No, see, that can't happen. See, it's gotta be Misha Tate because they're going to headline and they're going to sell that fight and that fight is going to sell and people are going to be watching that fight. So see, Misha Tate has to win against Amanda Nunes and she's picked, she, she's favored to win. I don't know if I favor Misha Tate in this fight. I just don't know. Okay, I don't know. Because Amanda Nunez is very rough and rugged, man. And, you know, Amanda Nunez, <laughs> dude, let me tell you, man, she beat Valentina Shevinko. And I'm going to tell you, I'm a huge Valentina Shevinko fan. And she's also on my top 10 most prettiest MMA women's fighters uh, list. But, you know, that video is going to be dropping soon. But, man, she beat Valentina Shevinko. I'm talking about schooled her. And, and, and Shavinko is good. She real good. <laughs> Amanda Nunez just took it up another notch, man. And if Amanda Nunez wins this fight against Misha Tate, I'm telling you right now, she is going to be another UFC fighter that's going to get put on the back burner. They're never going to push her. They, they didn't push Holly Holm. And I, and I got my reasons, and I really got my suspicions why they didn't push Holly Holm. I can kind of disclose that on this video, but I'm not going to, okay? I'm not going to disclose why I really think they won't push Holly home. And you know, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you guys one thing, okay? And the reason is, see, Holly Holm don't fit that, that slutty stereotype. I'm telling y'all, people, that's one reason. But there, there's a lot of other reasons that I could go into why they're not, they'll never push Holly Holm. And Holly Holm will never get another rematch of Ronda Rousey or Misha Tate. Then I tried to tell y'all this was going to happen. I tried to tell y'all. But, you know, they're going to let Holly Holm fight some lower tier fights. Because, see, Holly Holm, first of all, would not bend over. People, I'm telling y'all the truth. And I'm telling y'all I got inside information. Now, Holly Holm wouldn't bend over. And Holly Holm wouldn't sell herself out. Holly Holm not going around, you know, every five seconds doing these nude photo shoots. I mean, you know, and if she does do it, it, it may be do it. She may do it once in a but. I've never seen any new photo shoots of Holly Holm. Now, may, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, maybe you do. Do you dudes can probably find one, but I ain't seen her. It's like Holly Holm don't want to do all that. The only thing Holly Holm want to do is fight. Now, I've seen her model some clothes. I've seen her do that, model some outfits and stuff. I've seen that. But for the most part, Holly Holm not playing that same game. Like, see, Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate, they'll play the game. They'll play Dana White's game. They'll play the game, and he's going to push them. I mean, he will. And if you guys want to sit here for one second and think Dana White is this honorable businessman, then you guys are, are mistaken. Dana White would do anything he needs to to get ahead. And I'm telling you. And if you don't think Dana White had decent liberties with some of these female MMA fighters, you're also wrong, too. Okay? 
folks, that's just how it is. See, that's the nature of this business. And sometimes even for women, man, it's, it kind of sucks, man. It really do suck for the women because they got to do a lot of degrading things to get to certain spots. See, for, for women, not only do you have to be a good fighter, OK, but you have to also be somewhat attractive. OK, now, I'm telling you all the truth. OK, this, this is the honest to God truth. You have to know how to fight. You have to be somewhat attractive. And then sometimes it also means, you know, what person can you rub elbows with to even get in the right doors? That's just how it is sometimes. It's like that. I'm not saying that for every female athlete in, 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 in the UFC, but I'm telling you, for, for some of them that's trying to get ahead, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you are an ugly person that know how to fight, they're not going to push you. And Holly Holm just, is just not that looker. You know, I'm not saying she's unattractive. She's not like drop dead gorgeous. You know, like they think they think Ronda Rousey's gorgeous. Ronda Rousey don't even look that. Ronda Rousey don't look good at all. I mean, yeah, you can argue a case for Misha Tate. Misha Tate is, is attractive. You know, she's kind of attractive. And you can kind of push Misha Tate. And, you, and she's going to be the one that people want to see on the cover of magazines. I mean, think about it. Don't nobody want to see Amanda Nunez. And I'm not calling Amanda Nunez unattractive. I'm not saying that. But that's not the type that the media go for, that the public go for. They're they, they not. It's just Dana White not going to push those kind of people. He ain't going to push Holly Holm. He just not. She just don't have that kind of face that's photogenic. So he ain't going to push her. Absolutely not. He'll push Misha Tate. <laughs> and for, for whatever reason, I don't know. These people, they think Ronda Rousey, and you know, and, and Dana White, he's smart. He figured out that, oh, wait a minute, people think Ronda Rousey is hot. So guess what? I'm going to push Ronda Rousey. And that's really, that's really what Dana White did. He pushed her. And, yeah, he's going to keep, he's trying to find a way to get Ronda Rousey back in the media's attention. He's trying to, and guess what? Another fight with Misha Tate, Ronda Rousey is going to ease. And Ronda Rousey know how to beat Misha Tate. See, Misha Tate know how to beat Holly Holm, but Ronda Rousey know how to beat Misha Tate. And it's, it's clearly evident, man. It's evident. Ronda Rousey, every time, man, she going there and completely destroy Misha Tate. And <laughs> what I'm trying to tell y'all, Holly Holm is out of the picture. She's done. Amanda Nunez. Mm -mm. And I can tell you what, if the fight close, Misha Tate going to win the decision. People, that's just how it is. Amanda Nunez is not going to win a decision against Misha Tate. It's not going to happen. It ain't. Like, Amanda Nunez is going to have to, you know, going to have to do a heck of a lot of takedowns. She is going to have to brutally, like, really just lay a beating on Misha Tate for them to give her a decision. Because I can tell you this right now. If Amanda Nunez wins that fight, I guarantee y'all, yeah, she'll fight Ronda Rousey. But after that, you ain't going to see no more of Amanda Nunez ever again. Like, it, it, she's going to be, like, bottom rung MMA fighter. That's where she's going to be. People, that's just how it is. That's just the truth, Okay. That's how the business work. I trained some MMA fighters, and I told y'all I trained a couple of dudes that, that used to even be in the UFC. They were lower-rung athletes, but, man, they know how that business works. They know. But you guys tell me what you think about this. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.